Juventus 3, Dinamo Kiev, nil is how it finished in Turina. Juventus completely dominating this match, very deserving of the three points. Uh, one man, once again, will grab all the headlines. Cristiano Ronaldo on the score sheet in this game, which marked his 750th goal with club and country. Uh, Ali Moreno joins us. Not bad, Ali. Not bad at all. It was my kind of range as well. Dan. It was. A little tap in action. Uh, he had a couple other opportunities, hit the post, uh, hit the crossbar as well. Uh, and I, I, his presence alone just makes a huge difference for Juventus in the attack. Morata continues to play well. I thought Federico Chiesa today was outstanding too on the right-hand side. The one player, trailing player coming out of the midfield that is willing to take players on, provide crosses. He scored a goal today as well. I think there's still work to be done with this team. It was not a perfect performance from the 21st minute when Chiesa scored up until the Ronaldo goal. There were moments in which Dinamo Kiev had opportunities and Chesney had to come up with a couple of saves. After the Ronaldo goal, then it was game, set, match. And then, again, the presence of Ronaldo, when you know he's in the attack, he's just a threat from anybody who's trying to defend Juventus. It makes them, of course, a much, much better team. They just have to be a little bit more dynamic through the midfield. They just haven't been enough of that throughout the course of the season. Elsewhere, Barcelona also won by three goals. Sunil Brathwaite, Griezmann and uh, Dembele with the penalty in that game, which means it will all go down to that final match at the camp now in Catalonia as to who will go through as group winners, Ali. Barcelona, of course, very much in the driving scene, not only because they've got home advantage, but also head-to-head -head as well. Juve have to go there and win by at least two goals. Yeah, in Barcelona today, of course, no Lionel Messi. He didn't even make the trip. And what you saw from this team was a lot of youth and a lot of some, a lot of these players that are supposed to take the responsibility on once Lionel Messi has moved on and gone and done whatever it is that he's going to do next season. Uh, one of those players is, of course, Antoine Griezmann, mm. who, when Lionel Messi is not on the field, you see him freely floating around, scores a beautiful goal on a back heel. And in that play in particular, what you like to see is that Dembele is actually taking players on and, 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 and putting a ball in, and as well as a goal by Braithwaite, in, in which what you want to see from Ousmane Dembele, because he is indeed part of the future of Barcelona, then it's, yeah, take players on and make a good final decision. The first half of Dembele, outstanding. The second half of Dembele, eh, not so much. Go back to some of the bad decisions from before, where he passes when he needs to shoot, he shoots when he needs to pass, we're looking for more consistency. And I think Ronald Koeman, when he looks at the team that was today out on the field, he says, OK, who are some of these players that I can trust when we play Juventus, when we play some of these bigger games? And Dembele gives you signs that he can be that guy at times, and then not so much. As for Griezmann, again, a beautiful back heel goal. He was very good when he was on the field. He continues to get more comfortable. If indeed this continues to happen for Antoine Griezmann, I think Lionel Messi benefits from it. And of course, big picture Barcelona benefits as well. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.